I promised Debbie Gies that I would do a reading from my latest uh, collection, uh, which is A Kiss for the Worthy, um, to go along with the interview that, uh, that I've just done uh, with Deb. Um, a Kiss for the Worthy is a collection of original poems that are derived from an original work by Walt Whitman uh, back in 1855. Uh, this is part of a trilogy of works, uh, one coming from Amy Lowell and her poem, Madonna of the Evening Flowers, one from Walt Whitman, as I've just said, and one still to be released, uh, which is derived from T.S. Eliot's The Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock, uh, and that collection will be called Rescue and Redemption. But today, um, a few poems from A Kiss for the Worthy, and I'll start with um, the first uh, section of Song of Myself, which is reproduced in the book. So this is from Song of Myself, Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman back in 1855. I celebrate myself and sing myself in what I assume you shall assume for every atom belonging to me as good belongs to you. I loaf and invite my soul. I lean and loaf at my ease, observing a spear of summer grass. My tongue, every atom of my blood formed from this soil, this air. Born here of parents born here, from parents the same and their parents the same. I, now 37 years old, in perfect health begin, hoping to cease not until death. Creeds and schools in abeyance, retiring back a while, sufficed at what they are, but never forgotten. I harbour for good or bad, I permit to speak at every hazard, nature without check, with original energy. Okay, that's the first part of Song of Myself, Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman. Uh, I don't know if I read that well or not. Um, but that is that and the following section, uh, what inspired uh, this book here, A Kiss for the Worthy, excuse me. <coughs> um, and the format that the book takes, my collection takes, is uh, to take a phrase or a line from the original poem and then to use that as the starting point for my own work. And I've called this a love poem. To me, Whitman was in love with himself, with himself in the world, and he loved that world that he was a part of. And it's a very big, expansive poetry that, uh, that he wrote. And what I feel is that with each of the three collections, the tone of that original poem has influenced the work that has come afterwards. So you, you can uh, choose and decide that yourself, of course. Uh, but I'll read you two or three poems from A Kiss for the Worthy now from, um, and yeah, hope you enjoy them. I'll start with See, then sing, then rise. And this is derived from the line And what I assume you shall assume. I will sing songs as though the heavens sang. Open up my voice with great conviction and I will sing for you. Croon my love of being beneath a southern sky. Let you hear my heart, its rhythm beating, beating, beating. And you will see what I see through the tenor of my tones. Assume what I assume is right within the song. It is of a dry and blue wide heaven that I sing of constellations that populate the night, the Southern Cross and the Pointer. So sing with me, come sing with me, let us be our voices and rise note by note above ourselves, beyond. The next piece is, in the midst I cannot think. And it derives from the line, for every atom belonging to me as good belongs to you. 
It is difficult to think in the presence of my own self. There are times when I, the very fact of me, becomes overwhelming. It is the awareness of being, the knowledge that I am. My thought is comprised, compromised by every atom belonging to me, establishing me in my own awareness in such a way that nothing, nothing and no other one is established. What glory is this? What joy? What knowledge? Who can think while in the midst, the very midst of their own being? Um, this next piece is called Is Beautiful This Year? <clears throat> Excuse me. It uh, derives from the phrase, I loaf and invite my soul. I will wander wool gathering in my mind. As the wind blows, stray petals of white blossom shed by the generosity of the golden plum before me. I loaf along, my face to a breeze that brings the power of fragrance, the fresh flowers of spring. And I invite my soul to join me. Sing a sabbatical pastoral, including the fleeting flash of red and the squeaking pitch of rosellas shrilly arguing in waking branches of the sentinel oak. Happy work, much like the bees and blooms. But today I lean and contemplate completely at my ease. Um, I will finish with uh, the title uh, piece for the book, A Kiss for the Worthy. And this derives from uh, the line, the phrase, observing a spear of summer grass. The Suzerations sing to their gentling by a breeze, blown a kiss through the unbending spikelets of chocolate-coloured bulrush flowers, ripened and waiting to cast seed into the care of that fleeting grace. Is that not a tune worthy of singing, worthy of a kiss from Zephyrs passing by? Um, that's a little set uh, just for this group. I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's been a wonderful exercise putting together these, these three uh, poetry collections. I've really enjoyed it. I hope you do too. If you happen to get a hold of a copy and, um, and read it, do let me know uh, what you think either by leaving a review or, or by getting in touch with me by email or through the, my blog or uh, by whatever means. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed that. Bye.